What's going on, everybody? Dan Unfiltered, Unfiltered Reactions. Checking out Her Bright Skies, Heartbreaker. Never heard of him. But, judging the book by its cover, they look like a punk band, correct? Was it, is it Lifehouse? They look kind of like Lifehouse. You guys remember Lifehouse? Hanging by a moment there. Wh whatever. You know that damn song. Or you should. It's from like the early 2000s. Not a bad song. Ridiculously catchy. Not a good song either, but still super catchy. But let's check this out. And this comes from Sinatra, a Patreon. Appreciate it, homie. Let's do this. Her Bright Skies. It's not a terrible name. I don't love the name. Could be better. But not terrible. <laughs> I'm loving that guitar riff they're doing. That that that's nice. In the corner of a worn down bar, picked her up from the start. Cigarettes and cheap perfume. We're taking this too far, but she's got class and she's got style. At least that's what I thought. How could I think that I'd be the one? Well, I should have known. I will say I like that chorus because, yes, they sound like all the big punk bands of that 2000-2010 era. But that that chorus was a little heavier. It had a little more bass to it, a little deeper. I like how it came in a little deeper. Because punk is this close to being fucking perfect. Punk music is close. I just need my punk a little deeper, a little heavier, a little more bass to it. A little more kick in the ass. This This has a touch of that. Has a touch. In town, but you were first in line. Pretty soon you will understand just what you like. And don't pretend that you don't know exactly what I mean. He'll read you like an open book. Will you sure I I'll tell you right now, if, you are, if you're new to the channel, if you're not new to the channel, you know I'm a fucking sucker for the hesitations before a drop. I love it. Especially if you don't do it throughout the song. Like if it's just a one selected moment. They didn't do it the first drop into the chorus. They did it here. And I didn't see that coming. Because this isn't the last chorus of the song. So it's kind of weird. But I love that they prolonged it right before the chorus came in. Sweet. Bonus points. It's bonus points. Got everything she needs, but she won't do. Stop putting your hands up high and reach for the skyline. She's got everything. She's got everything. Think she wants to know. And maybe you should. But you were first in line But pretty soon you will understand Just what you like So hold your hands up high And reach for the skyline I've got everything I've got everything Stop putting your hands up high And reach for the skyline
Things got, things leveled up so fast in that song. Started off, cliche, normal, punk song, which isn't a bad thing. Punk songs are pretty good. So it was pretty good. It was all right. Didn't stand out. First chorus dropped. It was a little heavier. They Whatever they did to their instruments, the bass was turned up a little bit. I like that. Punk, I've always thought, needs that. So I was like, okay, okay, this could end up being a good song. And then the second chorus, they had that prolonged little hesitation before the drop back into the chorus. Fucking always, again, it's a cheat code for me. I'm always going to love that. Always. I've never seen it done poorly. Frankly, I want to see someone give me an example of when that sucks. Does anyone have an example to where you do like a hesitation before a big drop in a song? And it doesn't hit? Like, <laughs> when does that ever fall flat? Almost never. I, not, none that I can think of. It didn't hear. And then, when they did that little breakdown bridge thing towards the end, I was expecting the chorus to just come back in and we're just riding into the sunset. Good song. Call it a day. Nah. He got a little angry. We got a, uh, we got a sprinkle of some harsh vocals. A little yells, a little screams. <laughs> loved it, loved it, loved it. The song needed that. It did. It takes it to a whole nother level. And again, check out the poll. It is up right now. Let me know. Is this a banger, biscuit, or just meh? Because this one... Uh, You'd have to just not like punk music. Because this is a good punk song. Clearly. And I loved the final third. Because I didn't see it coming. I did not expect him to do any screams at all. But he had a couple touches of it. Which really just... Again, it's like adding salt to a meal. It's just more flavorful. More flavorful. It's just better. Why is flavorful a hard word to say? Is it just me? It's because is it is it the beer? Could be the heat. I don't know. It's hot as shit. That's all I know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Her bright skies are they a thing? I've never heard of them. And I think on YouTube it said it. This song was uploaded in 2010. That is around why I stopped listening to music. But still. I knew music around 2004, 5, 6, 7. Maybe, maybe, they, maybe they popped up after me. I don't know, but they're pretty good. Hit the like, subscribe, and if you are still here. And again, salute the Patreons, every one of you. The best. I, I almost never get bad songs. Love that. Love that. <laughs> Makes everyone's life easier. And again, I started this channel to find music. Because again, I was out of it for almost 20 years. About 15 plus years. I'm back. And you guys are just opening the horizons with shit I wouldn't even, even ever be able to find on YouTube. I never... Her Bright Skies? Who's, who's typing that in? I never would have found that. There's no way YouTube would have ever suggested this. Thanks, man. Definitely appreciate it. And if you are still here, then you are a real one.